Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver wow, was still sick. alive when it happened. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision, but the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochran was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Open the abdominal cavity. A due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait... Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Mm, wow, this is quite the mood of mystery. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. No apologies. We surgeons... We've a different sensibility. Mm-hmm. And a different sense of humor. Okay. Last but not least. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. 
Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Which one do we pick? It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Wright, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the Woodcarver, Eustace the Corpse Collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, Your Reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. No, he won't hang. I'll just chop mm. him into pieces. Thank you. Look, he's wearing a candle. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Oh yeah. Which one shall we do? Let's speak to the corpse collector. He's probably the closest, right? Yep. Um, find Eustace. There we go. Just look at the freak. Hey. Bloody bandits! Can't go out in the streets no more! At least my father didn't used to kill women. With all of Val and the king of beggars, you get no mercy no matter who. Hey, Eustace, the corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. <laughs> Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. 
No ice, no uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, are you a tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Oh, hell. Maybe I should smack him. I'd advise you not to anger me, or you'll get an inside tour of the crematory. Touch me, the guys will be hiding your ass for you can't free. To save a little shit like you? Doubt it. But he's clever, lads. More cleverer than you. They no use this. No, they want me on their side. Cause you will die one day, and then I'll decide where your body winds up. A grave, the crematorium, or elsewhere. Ah, uh, now we have to bribe him. That all out for coin? Fine, have some. Now talk. What did you find on him? Trifling as baubles. Glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum. Quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner till it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. What the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. <laughs> Oi, fucking hell! What was that for? For everything. Okay. Which one? Examine that one. Okay. Let's do that one first. Strange. Can you stop coughing, people? Jeez. Has nobody told them they're flipping, there's COVID issues, and they should all wear a mask? Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll sit my hounds on you. Molly, Strigge, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much lie down. Come on. Come on in. Slowly now, let's take bite you. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Yeah, grief, what the heck is that? It down now. A ginormous dog. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything. What about the dogs? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. They know they could have folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wife birth so as not to stain their poor lanes. What do they care about some dwarf? Your brother have any enemies? 
Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dishrag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. It was syphilis. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Yeah, where were they when your brother was murdered? Stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Murderer mm. dragged something Someone heavy, dragged something across the floor. Statues. Or dragged it or from corpse. one wall to the other, repeatedly. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Looks like we got some sort of maniac. Well, I can't get in. We find everything that there is to find. See anything else? Murderer mm. dragged something Someone heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged Murder it from corpse. one wall to the other repeatedly. See anything else? What else am I supposed to look for? Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. There's a door over here I can go in. That's also locked. Hi. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm-hmm. The women especially. 
Never seen a bust that size on Melitoli. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that will crush her back. Wait, I'm down. I said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut my trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple. And the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. What's the end of that? Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since. since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. I still want to know where the dogs were. Can we go inside, Geralt? Why are you being so weird today? Oh yeah, lots of stuff going on over here. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. There we go. Oh yeah. Next up, Priscilla. Thanks, dude. to see you been another victim told me to say the main door will be open for you you're to come as soon as you can will do watch it Trev no regrets not your hey, stopping well ah oh, yeah let's see That in. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. 
and back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes, or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Oh, nice. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Easier this time of year. Human Priscilla's. A brazier this time of year. Yeah, yeah. Go a little closer there then. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. arrived ran this way watch it tram novigrad's not your stomping ground i know that smell formaldehyde So, what is it? Uh, didn't find anything. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. Okay, back to the coroner's office. Sweat enough in the gutter. Oh. Hey, how do I get there? Oh, up this way. Master Witcher! 